documentary on Rachel in English. I read in English. I see. So how was your day today? My day was good. Anything else? No. I had Spanish. No, I didn't. I had science. Mm -hmm. And then I had history. And we watched a movie. But I went to sleep. And I read my book. I see. So is this Ari kid annoying? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Ari. Put my mad face on. I only really have one. So tell us about yourself, Rachel. Well, I like perfume. <laughs> I was like one of those perfume commercials. I do my makeup in class. I do my nails in study hall. Mm -hmm. I paint. What do you like to paint? <laughs> <laughs> Anything. This is so stupid. <laughs> and I like to read. <laughs> and I like these. Alright, good afternoon, everybody. Everybody, have a seat. Listen up. Alright, I'm gonna chill here. I'm just gonna see what happens when I stay here. Okay. From Rachel's perspective. This class sucks. <laughs> It's not lunchtime. No, it's not. No one said it was. He said it was. No, it's not. It's only be lunch right now. Uh, two minutes and four milliseconds. I oh, know that's seconds. Come in milliseconds. Hey guys, this is an individual assignment. Documentary on LA class. Documentary on an LA Shakespeare class. I don't know if they can hear it. What is it? Oh, that's it. Mm, that's it. Yes, Joe said something. We read Romeo and Juliet. Uh, hey, I can see that too. Okay. Does anybody have any examples of an allegory from any of those? Uh, What's an allegory again? We just read the definition. Maybe you should be listening. Well, maybe someone should speak. It's a story that has um, a, me a political message to it, basically, or a different meaning to it. The animal, the animal farm is an allegory. Right, did you guys read Animal Farm? No, but I did. <laughs> Go ahead. One for Tears of the Tiger? Say that again? One for Tears of the Tiger? Or like I did you, uh, what's an example I, from that story? Um, yeah. Don't commit suicide because it's not <laughs> What's the allegory though? The allegory. Yeah, yeah, it's don't like don't you're picking that. an answer. Not an allegory. Isn't that like the political meaning? I can reduce yeah. suicide rates? <laughs> <laughs> Did you have something to say? I already does. I, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, come on, Artie. Artie, talk about uh, Artie. 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 Or passage from another literary work. Okay. Can anybody 
So that would be like if I had a book and it referred to Shakespeare, but it wasn't written by Shakespeare, like West Side Story. Okay. Characterization. Go ahead. A character is a person, or in the case of such works as also fables, a non human with a human personality in a literary work. Character can also refer to the particular unique traits of a person in a literary work. Characterization is the way in which an author presents and defines character. A flat character is one who is minimally described. Very stereotypical, or who has only one purpose, your basic blood sucking count, jerkly. While a round character is one is, who is presented in a great depth and detail. Okay, let's, can anybody give me an example of a flat character, somebody who doesn't change much? Maybe from Romeo and Juliet, go ahead. Romeo. Romeo's not really a flat character. What are you talking oh. about? <laughs> somebody who doesn't change at all. Yeah. Like a, uh, one of the older Capulets, like the, uh... The nurse. Tybalt. The nurse. To, yep, okay. Not maybe, maybe not Tybalt, but the smaller roles in Romeo and Juliet. Yeah. Romeo doesn't change because he's still, like, he still acts like... What are you like, talking about? First, he's first. Because he still acts like a kid towards the end. He's a main character. Uh. Oh, of course he changes. What about a round character?